So welcome to this quick video on the oblique plane. Okay, how to find the true angle between the traces Okay, of an oblique plane, which is essentially how to find the true shape of an oblique plane. So I'm gonna go take you through three methods of finding it. So I'm gonna take you through the rebatment method, the rotation method, and using an auxiliary. So we'll get going. Right, so first one okay rebatment and you will do this in all three methods going to pick a point along the xy line and draw a vertical line so this line one two touches a point on the vertical trace and it touches a point okay on the xy line it doesn't touch a point on the horizontal trace now line one two projects as a point in plan because the line one two is on the vertical plane now Okay, I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to the HT from point one, two and plan. I'm going to get my compass now and I'm going to put it on T and bring the nib down to her uh, up to one and I can swing down, okay, until it intersects, okay, line one, two, which is, or sorry, this line that's perpendicular to the HT and originates from uh, one, two and plan. I can swing down with my compass or be the same way, swinging anti-clockwise around to the other side. Now, where that intersects, that's point one on the VT. So I can join T, true number one, and that's V1. Okay, so this is the true angle here between the traces because both lines are now true lengths. The VT has now been pushed down until it touches the horizontal plane. So it's a true length in plan and the HT is already a true length in plan. Now, I'm gonna repeat the same process again, or a similar process over here. I'm gonna pick a point along the XY line. I'm gonna draw a vertical line. I'm gonna label it one, two. I'm gonna mark it one, two in plan. Now. I'm going to look along the HT, okay, in plan. So I'm taking an auxiliary here, okay, an auxiliary elevation. And when I look along the line HT, because it's a true length in plan, it's going to project as a point in elevation or in our auxiliary elevation. And then that's going to cause the oblique plane to project as an edge. Now I'm also going to project the point view of line one, two from plan. Now. I'm going to take the height of line 1, 2 from elevation. I'm going to mark it here. So there's 2. There's 1. And here's the oblique plane projecting as an edge view. Now, I'm going to extend on my x1, y1 line. Okay, because the x1, y1 line in the auxiliary elevation is an edge view of the horizontal plane. Now, I'm going to take my compass, I'm going to rotate, okay, point number one here, that's on the VT, until it hits the X1, Y1 line. So I'm going to rotate that until it hits the X1, Y1 line. Now, this is the surface being rotated down, the oblique plane being rotated down until it hits the horizontal plane. Now, the arc in plan, okay, it represents a perpendicular line or sorry the arc in the auxiliary elevation represents in plan a perpendicular line to the hinge line the ht what the surface falls the axis is falls down on so i'm going to draw a line that's perpendicular to the ht from the point view okay of line one two in plan right and then i'm going to bring down number one parallel to the ht and this is okay point number one on the VT and I can join that ba uh, back to T so there's the true angle between them these two are going to be parallel those two lines are going to be parallel now for the auxiliary I'm going to do an auxiliary elevation again the next what I'll do after is then take a second auxiliary so I'm going to take a point on the XY line. 
okay and I'm going to draw a vertical line I label it one two and it projects as a point in plan one two then I'm going to look along the HT I'm going, to, so I'm going to look along the HD and project from the point of view of line 1, 2 in plan. I'm going to draw in my X1 and Y1 line. Now, I'm going to label, oh, I'm going to take the heights from elevation. So, this is point 1 here and 2 is on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to call that H1, T1. Okay, so we can just pick the end of the HT or uh, as a point on the um, as a point on the HT. Now, I'm going to draw in the plane. So the plane is projecting as an edge view, and there's point number one. Now I'm going to look perpendicular to the edge view of the plane. So I'm going to draw in an X2, Y2 line. Now, so we're going to go two X, Y lines back. So X2, Y2, back, X1, Y1 line back to plan. So I'm going to take this distance here. Okay, that's T. I'm going to mark this in as T2. I'm going to take from the X1 and Y1 line back to H. Plot it here. Here's H. I'll do it lightly. And then I'm going to take the X1 and Y1 line back to 1. There's no need to do number 2 as it's not on the oblique plane. And there's number 2. Okay, which is on the VT. So there's D2. Now, so uh, I can use my protractor now to measure the angles. So 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So all three methods work, rebatment, rotation, auxiliary.